Hi everyone and welcome to Phil's Fun Fact Friday from Team Vincent Motorsports in Air Ontario. Today we're looking at this sled, the 1972 TNT. What was technically significant about it? Did it change the sport in any way? Not really, but it's really dear to me. The first sled I ever owned was a 72 TNT. The first sled I ever driven was a 72 TNT. Both were 440s. This is a 340. The 72s were available in several engine sizes. They may not have been significant in the history and development of the sport, but to me, they're near and dear to my heart. The TNT was typical of the era. It had a steel tunnel, center-mounted fan-cooled engine, and a choice of slide rail or bogey suspension. The dash had both tack and speedo in an easy-to-view location just under the low windshield. Under the hood was the choice of several engine sizes from Rotax. The tillets and carb had no fuel pump. It was pure vacuum that drew fuel into the carb. Many owners added a primer to help pull fuel on a cold start morning. The fan-cooled engine then delivered warmth on those cold riding days. The TNT had a nicely tuned 2 into 1 exhaust system, much smoother and much more efficient than the flex hose and muffler system which was quite common in the industry at that time. Taking a look at the clutch, you can see that the primary was notched so you could actually start it with a rope much like you could a lawnmower or an outboard motor at that time. To change the belt, the adjuster for the secondary actually had to be removed so you could get the belt around the secondary and put the new belt back in and then remove that adjuster back into location, hopefully at the same alignment. There is sometimes debate on the seat material and pattern used on the 72 TNTs. I've actually seen three different variations on original seats on 72 TNTs. The 72 TNT was a great all-round sled. It was strong, it was rugged, had lots of engine options, lots of power for the era. It was a great all-round sled. But some people had to give it a nickname because of the stripes. People call it the skunk. Really? It's a TNT. It's a performance machine. Nobody calls it the skunk. Do they? When I was a teenager, my 72 TNT was everything I could ever wish for. With a 440 engine, I had power to go through the best jumps on the sod farms whip around through the trees and the bush, and in a snowstorm, well, I may even have got stuck now and then. And all that jumping and shenanigans, well, I may even have broken a ski, and on a low budget as a teenager, a piece of angle iron, that was my fix. The 1972 TNT is a cool part of Skidoo's history. It's also a cool part of my riding past when I first started into the sport back in the 1970s. Thank you so much for watching our video series here at Team Vincent Motorsports. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our entire catalog of videos on our YouTube channel. Team Vincent Motorsports, Air Ontario.